Hi there. Uh, my name is Michael Hertz. I'm the CMO of White & Case. And um, we are here in Orlando, Florida uh, to talk about social media at the LMA uh, 2014 conference. Um, and I'd like to introduce my co-presenter on the panel today. Hi, I'm Deborah Graybine. I'm the Director of Business Development for Andrews Kurth. So one of the things we looked at um, in preparation for the panel was just what type of participation was occurring by managing partners in the major law firms. And then, Deborah, I think you looked at um, the same sort of question in relationship to um, the corporates and professional services arena more, more broadly. And um, just one of the things that I found was that um, the participation by managing partners of, for instance, the Amlaw 50, is at about 50% on LinkedIn. So uh, about 25 of the top 50 firms, the managing partner, has an active LinkedIn profile. Interestingly, only five of those managing partners have more than 500 connections. So interesting question of how much and how well they're participating. What did you find in the uh, corporate and larger professional services world? In, for corporate America, I found that about 33% thereabouts of CEOs are on LinkedIn. Um, I didn't drill down to connections like you did, but interestingly enough, I did look at some of the profiles, and it's all over the place. There are some right. that are highly engaged and some that are not. And pro other professional services for accounting firms of the top 10, seven out of the top 10 were on LinkedIn. Again, profiles vary. And on consulting services of the top 10, all of the CEOs did have LinkedIn profiles and again, varied quite a bit, Michael. So my takeaway from that is that while maybe we feel managing partners in law firms aren't as advanced in social media, I don't think they're as far behind as we thought based on the research that we found. So I'm interested to see what uh, we hear more from our constituents today. Right. I think there's still a lot of opportunity here in terms of exploring how um, the managing partner group can use social media to reach some of the stakeholders that are important to their law firm. Um, so that's one of the things we'll be talking about on the panel. But I thought maybe you might have some ideas or some thoughts on just how you as a CMO see social media in terms of your role and the, and the profile that you're trying to build for yourself. Michael, I think social media for any CMO, particularly in, in law firms, is really important. I think, number one, um, we must be educated about it in today's world. There's so many opportunities that social media presents, so I think we need to know how we can use it individually so we can help our constituents and our stakeholders know how to use it. The second thing is I think it's a great educational tool. It helps us to stay top of mind of a lot of things. Um, it helps us to connect to firm clients and other that we can learn from and I think this is a great opportunity for us to lead by example so we have to be knowledgeable we have to be engaged we have to be judicious of course and use good judgment about it but I think that's the great opportunity for us within our respective um, organizations great and we'll be um, talking about this further on the panel uh, with Kevin O'Keefe and then we'll be posting a lot of the materials and the research that we found on Lex blog after the panel Thanks a lot. Thank you.